right, guys, we're heading out to a call where Una's tripping the breaker, a heat pump, at a, I think it's a double wide trailer. So we're gonna see what's going on, see if the breaker's bad, the heat pump compressor's bad, we'll see what's happening. Here's our subject, the Goodman heat pump. Not sure what tonnage, probably two and a half tons, judging from the compressor. We're gonna check, see if we have a ground in the unit. If we do, then we're gonna pinpoint it a little bit farther. We have the Subco Mega Ohmmeter on the contactor. And it looks as though we are not grounded to the point of tripping any breakers there. So it looks like our breaker might be the culprit. Well, there's our breaker and we are, we have a wire that is burned off severely. Not to the point it's disconnected, but it's pretty toasty. And I'm sure the breaker, which looks to be a little bit small, 20 amps for three tons or two and a half tons, I don't think it's quite enough as far as a breaker protection. All right guys, here's our culprit. Square D breaker, 20 amps, a little small. It's a beautiful day out there today. Nice cool day, about 45 degrees. Heading down the street to the hardware store here in the big town of Burgall. You see on the left is our old breaker, 20 amps. On the right is our new breaker, 30 amps, which is the proper size for that unit. I looked up online for GSH 13 sear, two and a half ton heat pumps and said 30 is our maximum overcurrent protection, aka breaker. So I have replaced that. It's also a Square D home line, which is a more economical version of breakers. So I'm gonna put that in, hopefully that's our only problem. All right, we have our new breaker in, it's shut off. Here's our piece of wire that was toasty and burnt. Both connections to the breaker were loose and pulled right out when the breaker came out. So we're gonna hook up the gauges and make sure everything's squared away and restart the unit and hopefully we don't have a problem. We have the testos hooked up. Eighty-two pounds of standing pressure. We have our high side hook to the liquid line coming back from the condenser inside, and we have our suction line to the common suction, which is used in heating mode to get your suction pressure. No superheat measurement on this one because we have to go inside the unit. I'm not really that concerned with it at this time. We do have a subcooling measurement and a hot gas measurement. Our heating pressure is looking pretty good so far, 185 over 48. Keeping in mind it's pretty cold outside, that's why we have a low suction pressure. It's normal in cold temperatures. 7.9 amps on the compressor, also fine. So we're looking good so far, we'll let it run for a while, but we're probably all done here. Here we are, our final pressures for today. 226 over 59.5, if I fluctuate a little bit more. Warmed up a little bit outside, it's probably close to about 50 degrees. We have 8.9 amps on the compressor, which is pretty good. Heating mode is typically a little bit higher amperage than cooling on heat pumps because the head pressure is a little bit higher. But there we are. All done for today, bad breaker. And I will see you guys on the next one.